is on the toilet. One out of three little girls will be sexually assaulted by the time they are 18. According to the Center for Child Welfare, one in seven children are abused. Here in the United States, we have one of the highest rates amongst industrial industrialization for child abuse. Three million reports of child abuse are made in the United States every year. What do these faces look like? The soft, pink, sweet, not yet month old baby laying in a casket with a broken skull. Or the little boy next door that has bruises on his arms all the time. What about that sweet little innocent child frolicking down the street on a summer's night? But inside they are dark and depressed with no one to love them or be a voice for them. Child abuse and neglect affects every one of us. According to Maslow's hierarchy of needs, every person must have four steps met before self-actualization can occur. Things such as the physiological needs of a child, food, water, shelter, and clothing. Safety and security, love and belonging, self-esteem, confidence, respect for themselves and others. If these basic needs are not met, it's no wonder why the United States has the highest incar incarceration rates in the world. But I'm not here to talk about prison. I'm here to talk about prevention. Prevention starts with the protection of innocents that have no voice. So, are you ready to help? One thing you can do is volunteer to become a court-appointed special advocate, or a CASA. This can be. This is a national program where you can Google um, the word CASA or Washington State CASA to be a child's advocate. A judge will appoint you to a particular child's case. You don't need to be a lawyer. You don't need a big fancy degree to help. Just a willingness to volunteer put your wings around a little child that needs help. CASA will pr provide about 32 hours of training. Some of your advocate duties will include interviewing and research the families and friends and uh, family members of the child. Teachers or counselors that are also involved in the child. That way you can report back to the judge and the court on what your findings are. I've touched on some brief statistical information regarding child abuse and sexual assault, the fact that the United States has the highest incarceration rate in the world, what a child may look like on the outside or even the inside that's being abused, how if every person's needs are not met, met what it can lead to. So as you can see, Child abuse and neglect affects everyone. CASA is a nationally based program and can be found online by Googling CASA. For CASA in Washington State, the phone number is 509-524-2801 or online at www.dev.wa. C A S A dot org. Thank you. That was